Hi, it's Dale with Johnston Murphy, and I'm here right now with a light brown vintage shoe. This is this is a shoe that's common. People like it, um, and they have a burnished look on them. Look closely on this. There's a lot of nicks and and marks on these shoes, and this is common. This is something that everybody has done if you own a pair of shoes. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna talk about how to actually restore this and getting this back looking how it has to look. All right, first thing we wanna do is we wanna clean the shoe. We wanna start with water and saddle soap. We're going in circular motions to clean the shoe. You wanna lather it up because that's basically what you're doing. You're cleaning and you wanna get that completely off because what we don't want it to do is we know that water would damage anything. Now what we wanna do is let this sit and we're gonna rotate the shoe. Basically make sure that the shoe actually sits and dries. It's gonna get a little dark, but hey, don't worry about that. It's gonna dry right on up. Uh, with this shoe here, what we're gonna use is two colors. We're gonna use uh, a light brown, and we're gonna use a tone of black in it. Now, you have to be careful when you uh, use the black, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. Okay, what we're gonna do now is basically just smooth the shoe out. So we're brushing the shoe. You're not beating the shoe, you're just basically stroking the leather, making sure it's smooth before we apply the polish. All right. Now, if you see, we've cleaned it off. Yeah, the leather is smelling good and it's looking better. But what we still do see is we still see the cuts and the scuffs in here. And we're gonna take care of that. We're gonna take black polish and we're gonna apply it. You can either apply it with a dauber. I prefer by hands. We're just going in a circular motion, just hitting the cap of the toe. So it's sort of like if you put a line right here, an imaginary line, we're gonna hit the top of this right here. Take our brush and we're going to just stroke it, the back and the toe. And if you see, it's actually, it's actually making the toe a little darker. It's not darkening it all the way up, but it's actually giving it some life. Most of the scuffs are actually going out. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do this one more time and there we have it. Now we're done with our black. What we're gonna go is to our light brown. What we're gonna do is hit this entire shoe, even the toe and the heel, with the light color. Once you put it on, you wanna take your brush and just stroke it. Most people ask me all the time, what's the key or what's the secret to shine in a shoe? There is no secret, but if there was a secret, it will be brushing the shoe. This is what actually gives life to the shoe. This is what helps the shine. This is what enhances the shine. So we're gonna do this one more time. This is our second application. And remember, we're hitting the entire shoe if you see that, it's getting much better. I don't see any scuffs or anything in the toes or the heel, but we're not done. And keep in mind, this process is probably take, with this being a two-tone shoe, probably take anywhere six to 10 minutes. And the more you shine the shoe, the better the shoe shines. We based it with the toes and the heels with black polish, brushed two coats in. We came right back and brushed two solid coats of light brown into the shoe, the entire shoe. So now we're ready to shine. Get you a good cloth, just a dab of water. Get you some polish into it. Rub the shoe just in a circle of motion. Once you go around a few times, rotate the shoe. And the shine will rise like the morning sun. Now, for those of you who don't use the finger rag, it's the same thing when you're using the mitt or if you're just using the cloth. We're bringing it out a little bit more and what we're doing now is basically spitting the shoe, not actually spitting on the shoe, misting the leather so that the polish actually could actually bring out a better shine. And it's just in circular motions, that's it. Make sure it's like wax on, wax off, but we're not waxing it off, we're just waxing it on. All right, the shoe looks good, but I was always told that you can't have the turkey without the dressing. So, with that being said, what we wanna use is sole dressing. The sole and edge dressing, it comes in a lot of forms. But what you wanna do is hit just the soles with it, 
because this is like cutting your grass and not edging the grass. So now we got a good pair of vintage shoes. As you see right now, the toes and the heels both. No scuffs, no nothing. And this is the finished product.